Hello. How are you? How's it going? Nice. So, another week. We are going to start, right? Again. Which means that we are still alive. Right? <laughs> of course, good. Uh, you know, in the beginning, it is uh, a bit difficult for students to speak up because because students are not ready in the beginning. I told a million times, and I have to repeat it again, before coming to any kind of club, okay, your brain uh, works like, a, like an engine, for example. Your brain should, should get ready. Your brain should get ready. So I recommend you to start listening for 10 minutes before coming to speaking club. I don't care about what kind of material you are listening. You can listen to a news. You can listen to a song. You can listen to an interview. Anything in English to make your brain, to make that engine I mean, ready. Okay, in that case, when you come, <coughs> you can see that, <coughs> sorry, you can see that after uh, like one lesson, you start to talk. Right? In the beginning, it is difficult because it is not ready. Anyway, uh, so as usual, we have to do what? You remember the idiom again? Exactly. Let's get the ball rolling. We have to. Good morning. We have to use it a lot until we can fully remember, as you do, right? You remember that too? Yes, let's start. What does it mean? Let's start. Let's start, exactly. Idioms are very, very important, right? Perfect. So, as usual, we have some topics. So, yeah, a lot. You need to think about this. It says that if you had one wish, good morning. If you had one wish, what would it be? Think about this question. If you had one wish, what would it be? Think about it. Who is ready? Raise your hand and just talk about this question. I'm not thinking, but I can say that. Of course. I sure. I want to be um, president. Mm. You can say, I wish I, I were a president. Yes. Why? Why is that? When I was a child, um, uh, I, I, I had a dream. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, good. So you had some dreams that one of them might be a president, to be a president. Right now, no. Okay, right now, of course you don't. You are not in favor of, do you remember this? In favor of something, right? You don't remember. You don't remember that. So, let's say, I am in favor of something. I am in favor of it. I am interested in it, right? Yes, exactly. We can simply say, I am interested in in. Or like Chino. Chino, very good. Or, Chino. yes, Chino. And yes. No, no, no. Sometimes, yes. Yes, you're right. Some, sometimes, of course. For example, the question might be a sort of political question. In that case, you can say, yes, I'm in favor of it. Or if the question is related to a concept, a movement, you can say, sure, I'm in favor of it. It means that I support it. Yes, you can say that. Yeah, let me add this too. Also, you can say, I support 
For example, that, sorry for my handwriting, idea, I basically do not use whiteboards normally, but I have to sometimes. Good, what else? Who wants to talk about it? About this wish. If you had only one wish, if I had only one wish, mm -hmm. uh, I would be an infantry because I am interested in this. I am interested in this. Uh huh. Uh, it's my dream. It is your dream. Excellent. Very good. Very decent sentence. Who wants to talk? Excellent. You can say. Very good. Open that. No? Finished? We are locked? Good. You can simply say, good morning, you can simply say, uh, I forgot, what was you, what were you talking about? Okay. I, I travel, uh -huh. travel around the world, you can say. Yes. I would travel around, around the world. If you say, I would travel the world, that is okay, no problem. You know, there is no limit in language. If someone says that there is a limit, there is a box, he or she is lying. Okay? Language is very complicated than that. So what happens? I recommend you to use travel around the world. Why? Because native speakers use this way. There is no why. Just grab. Grab the information, grab the idea, grab the, the speech techniques, the speaking techniques that native speakers are using. Okay. So, I would travel around the world. Excellent. What else? Who wants to talk about it? Uh, if I had a chance, mm -hmm. uh, I would be rich. I, I, would, I, I wanted to be rich. Excellent. Because uh, I can do everything what uh, I want. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because I, I, I can. I can. Actually, I could because it's a wish. I could. Yes, because I could do whatever I want. wanted or want. Yes, perfect. Who is next? Who wants to talk about it? I can choose uh, between two uh, wish, but I will choose one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a scientist. And uh, I want to uh, create the, more, the most important uh, program. Program on computer? No. What kind of program? To destroy the world. To conquer that world. No. To create a new venom, for example. A new band, real one. Possible, huh? I don't know the most important one. The most important one. Perfect. Exactly. Excellent. You know, sometimes in the speaking clubs, I try to joke with the students, okay? Because if I do not joke, it is going to be, you know, very boring. Yeah, boring. So, uh, there is, let me change the color because one. If you and black one red, you can say, I am, sorry, I cannot write, I am pulling your leg. This is another idiom. I am pulling your leg means I am joking with you. I am joking with you. Okay, it's an idiom, very nice idiom. I am joking. Okay, I am pulling your leg. And pulling your leg is being so Yes, this is idiom. Mm -hmm. Idioms are a group of words that we cannot translate word by word. We can. Pull your leg, okay? Pull. So. <laughs> right? So in that case, you have to know what the idiom is mean. Right? Excellent. I am joking with you or yeah. I am joking with you? Both of them. Possible, yes. Actually, I am joking with you. Yeah. I would say I am pulling your leg. It is better. So, who is next? Who, who wants to talk about it? 
We don't want to talk about it. So let me ask you another question. Uh, it says that if you could be a celebrity, do you know the word celebrity? Famous. Yes, famous what? Famous person. Exactly. Celebrity. Celebrity means famous person. Famous person. If you could be a celebrity for one day, which celebrity would you be? Arjun. Hmm? Arjun. Arjun? Why? Why? He's rich. He's, he's so rich. Much rich. And uh, he can do uh, that what he wants. Whatever, whatever, whatever he, wants. he wants. Or whatever. And it's excellent. And instead of saying what, uh, want, you can say desire. That is much better. Whatever he desires. Okay? Desire in that context means want. Desire. Better. Yes, desire. Yes. Yeah. Desire. Desire. Desire is another form of saying want. Sir? Yeah. Yeah. Another one is tend to. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Like to tend to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, who is good? who is next? Who wants to answer this question? I yes. would be a famous model. Yes, oh. one mm -hmm. I love this girl. Her? I love this girl so much. Oh, very good. That is it. Sorry? That is it. Because you love her, that is okay. What else? Who wants to talk about it? I don't know what I love yesterday. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? You have no idea. Okay. Who is next? Who wants to talk about this question? Okay. So let me ask you another uh, question. This, this time the question is going to be a good one. How do you deal with stress? How do you deal with stress? How do you deal with stress? Um, if I have stress, I am eating something. Yes. yes. Do you think that that method is very effective method? Is it the correct method or not? Eating too much when you are stress, stressful. It's okay for me. Is, it, is that okay for you? Yes. When I'm eating something, I feel better. Probably. Really? Yeah. She, invite, <laughs> she is invite on a diet. On, on. on a diet. Yeah, probably. I don't know. On a diet. On a diet. Uh, I can't deal with uh, stress, you know. You cannot. Can yes. or can't? Can't. Can't. Okay. What yeah. else? You have to answer so this. Know, especially you. I can't. Uh, I go for a walk. Excellent. Um, you go on. You go. You go for a walk. Very fast. And very fast. Yeah. You mean you walk fast? Yes. I, I, can't, uh, I try to forget it. Mm -hmm. Forget the problem. Yeah. The stressful problem. Yeah, this is a good way. Yeah. Um, uh, when, I, uh, when I get tired, uh, I forget. You forget it. Yeah. Excellent. Nice. And if you, uh, if you are in stress, mm -hmm. uh, you should try. Uh, deep breathing. breathing. Excellent. You should you should try breathe deeply. Deep. Okay. Yes. This one. Deep. Breathe. Breath. Breath. Breathe. Yeah. There you go. I will wait uh, until. Everyone uh, skips. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, because I uh, I skip too much. No, no. <laughs> uh, I wanna find so uh, a solution. Uh, I wanna find uh, yes okay. a solution myself. Okay, no problem. Think about it. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with doing it. Excellent. Me too. And if I <laughs> if I tell a person, uh -huh. my stress starts. Excellent, that's right. That's right. that's right. That is a very cliche strategy that men basically do. Why play, Why we, for example, do play Call of Duty to kill someone? 
you know, to become empty out of that stress or whatever. Yeah, wait a minute, don't open that door. So you said breathe, I want to give you another, uh, some two other words like we have inhale and exhale, right? Yes. Inhale, <sighs> exhale, like enter your body and uh, exit your body. So inhale goes inside, exhale exits your body. So inhale and exhale together is breathe, right? Very good. Who is next? Do you want to say something about it? Uh -huh. When I had a stress, uh, I... Uh, I'm going to be uh, happy. Uh, I can uh, play video games and uh, I can listen to music. It makes me happy. It makes you happy. Perfect. Sometimes. Excellent. When I, when I am stressful, I want to walk. I want to play video games. I want to talk to someone. I want to kill someone. Kill someone. I want to <laughs> eat too much. Different, different methods. What about you? Why you are not talking? <laughs> we um we are more little stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imagine that you have a stress. Yeah. I mean, imagine that you're stressful. Mm -hmm. What happens? What are your techniques, strategies that you are dealing with the stress? Um, too, or, um, too, sorry, too little stress. Mm -hmm. um, maybe <laughs> we must do sport. Hmm, you must go to the gym and do some sport. Yes. Yeah. I do sport in general. <laughs> Very good. Gen in general, or generally speaking, this is better. Generally speaking, right? Let me write it somewhere. Generally, generally, you can say speaking here. This is much more common. Generally speaking, blah, blah, blah. Or usually, you know, of course. Yes. Uh, is it true that uh, the more stress, the more success? Yes, grammatically true. true. Grammatically true. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Finish. Do you want to say something? I couldn't find it. Excellent. Uh, let me ask you a sort of uh, interesting question. Do you think aliens exist? Do you think that aliens, do you know aliens? Exist? Sorry? Exist. Existence as a noun, exist as a verb. Exist. Live. Yes. There are, there is, there are. Like this. Do you think that, uh, for example, let's say, are there Aliens in the world. What do you think about this? I don't believe them. You don't believe yeah. them or believe in them? Okay. I mean, period. <laughs> you too, period. Uh -huh. You too, period. Okay. And you too, of course. We will see uh, when they blow out Area 51. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. We will see that. Yeah. Nice answer. Okay. Who was your hero when you were a child? Who was your hero when you were a child? Sorry? I don't understand. Cartoon. 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 Free stone. Free stone. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, whatever do you know? You know I don't remember, but if I see most probably, I would remember that. Yeah, why not? Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Why? What kind of characteristics? Sorry? She was a hero for you. Okay. Excellent. You know, in English, they call us heroine. Hero for male, heroine for female. Understand? Hero, heroine. Heroine. Yes, male, female. Hero, heroine. Heroine, female? Yes, for female. Heroine. Yes, yes, heroine. Mm -hmm. Excellent. When I was a child, uh, my hero was my father. 
Your father. Yes. Why? How come? You know how come? Why? Do you remember how come? Yes, I know. What does it mean? Why? Exactly. How come? Uh, because uh, Did you? he yes. always. What come? No, how come? There is no what come. Don't kill him with scrap. He always uh, <laughs> take away me whatever I want. He always used to. Right? In past tense. I used to. Normally, yeah. normally it is a good strategy to use used to when you are talking about past tense. This is a good strategy. So, you can say, repeat again. Uh, he always uh, used to uh -huh. take away me. Take me away. Took me. Take me away. Yes. Whatever I want. Whatever I want. Yeah. Excellent. Take me away. Yeah. Very good. Okay, used to. Perfect. What, what else you want to talk about this way? No hero or heroine? Uh, I don't like hero because uh, it's not real. Mm. Mm. Maybe, okay. uh, maybe I can say in, in the real person. Real life, real person. Okay. Is there a real person or was there any real person that you consider him or her as a hero or heroine? Okay, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay, any, any other answers for this or ideas? Not just uh, when I have the time. Uh -huh. Always uh, my hero is my hero. Very good. Why? Why is that? How come? Because uh, he changed and he prepared our future. Future. Future is different from future, okay? Future means characteristics. Features. For example, you buy a new telephone, you say, okay, these are the features. It can take pictures, it is fast, blah, blah, blah. But future is the time tense, which is uh, ahead of the present tense. Okay? Past tense, present tense, future tense, future. Yes, future is different, future is different. Very good, excellent. No, no, they are not the same. Of course, we have the word future, see? The time. Okay. So the time tense. Yeah. Now we have the feature. Okay. Which is the pers personality or characteristics of something. Yeah. You want to talk about it? You talked about it. Yeah, I want to be used to uh, treat everyone equally. Excellent, perfect. Treat everyone equally. Perfect sentence. What else? You said that? Do you want to say something about this? No? Not yet? And do you want to say something about it? I couldn't. Really? I, okay. In this case, you can say the best answer is this. I haven't thought, I haven't thought about it before. You want to try it? Okay. I haven't thought, I haven't thought about it before. This is very, very practical that I didn't think about it. Very good. Okay. Very nice qu uh, question. Uh, what are some inventions, inventions you hope to see in the future? Future. What sort of inventions you hope, you hope to see in the future? What? Think well about this question. Today's questions are very scary questions. Invention. Invention uh, like telephone. Telephone was an invention. Okay. Telephone, internet, flying. discovery, flying, airplane, okay. this kind and, of stuff. Uh, flying, you have no, already no. seen that. What will fly faster? Drones. Um, for example, you are in uh, Istanbul, okay. and you uh, in one second you uh -huh. will go teleport. Uh, teleport. 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 <laughs> We call it as teleport. My favorite. Teleport as a verb, teleportation as a noun. Okay? What happens? Tele means far. Like telephone. Telephone. Okay? Far. Television. The vision that comes from far away. Tele means far. Port means movement. Teleport. To move far away. Understand? Teleportation. 
like you are in A, for example, A location, then you go to B location in a second. Not just in a second, maybe in a few, uh, I don't know, in a small amount of time. I cannot explain it. You know, uh, it's uh, was reported. Uh, mm. you do you know? No, I haven't heard about it. You know, there's a physicist, as far as I uh, did concern about it, because I'm curious somehow on some uh, you know, subjects. There was a, there is actually, there is a physicist. His name is uh, Michu Kaku. I don't know whether I pronounced his name correctly or not. Michu, Michu or Michu Kaku, he's American. And he said that it is almost impossible for human beings to physically teleport. He said that. The only thing that scientists, or let's say sign, okay, science, uh, has already done is internet data. They, you send a picture from Turkey, your friend receives it from Brazil. In a second. This is called as teleportation. The data can. But for human being, he said it is uh, impossible. Because every molecule, everything should disappear and uh, appear again. Exactly the same. This is impossible, he says. Yes, uh, I know that. Uh, Time machines. No, uh, Eston mm -hmm. uh, was uh, teleported. A stone. A stone. Okay, yeah. small one, big one. I don't know. I don't know. What? Hmm. Completely, exactly the same. Really? I don't know. I have uh, no idea about it. Was that a, uh, a film or documentary? You have just heard about it. Okay. Sorry, you are not certain about it. I am certain. You are certain about it. That that day. Uh, hi, hi. They teleport a sort of stone. Very good. What else do you have any ideas about it? I have just seen the application. Excellent. We have just seen it. Yes, but a more common. More common one. More complicated one. Exactly. You know, the most uh, popular one nowadays is called a Sophia. Sophie. Sophia. Have you have you seen her on uh, internet? Sophia. Sophie. Sophia. Is a robot. He, uh, she can talk to you. Yes. Whatever you ask, or however you ask. <clears throat> Do a research after the club on YouTube. You can see her. Sophie or Sophia. S O P H I E. Something Sophie. like that. Understand? You can see how complicated the design, the computer, the engine, whatever, robot, whatever, she has. Excellent, yeah. What else? Any other sort of thing? Uh, it can be uh, people's uh, car. Uh, it decreases uh, atmospheric pollution. Mm. And uh, it's... You mean personal car? Small one or uh, like... Oh, car. Uh, okay. It decreases uh, atmospheric pollution and accident. Ah, you mean teleportation can decrease it? Yeah. If we can teleport? Yes, we don't need cars, airplanes, nothing. Mm -hmm. Nice, exactly. Perfect. Good, good imagination. I like imaginations. <laughs> it says that when was the last time you cried? When was the last time you cried, and why? I cried yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> why? Because I was uh, cleaning the kitchen. Uh huh. The house. Okay. And my wife was. Sitting Oh, that is why you you you, you just cried. Huh? Yes. Okay. Recently. <laughs> Recently, exactly. What else? I can't say. You cannot say that. You yeah. can or can't? Can't. Can't. <laughs> Ladies. I cried. I have uh, cried. I have cried, but I don't remember mm -hmm. uh, time. Okay. Uh, but because of my. Uh, Illness uh, in my heart. Mm, there was a there was an illness. My heart, 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 heart problem. 
Yeah, yeah the heart throb. Yes, heart throb. Do you have that or really? Be careful. Um, I remember that. These questions, huh? Of course. Next question. How many real good friends do you have? How many real good friends do you have? One. Only one? Yes. I have two. Why? Because she is loyal. She's what? She's what? She's loyal. She's loyal to you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> loyal. Loyal. Yes. Father. 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 She doesn't tell lie to her. She's very honest. Let's say she's helpful. She can understand her. I like that. What else? Any other? I have some uh, real uh, friends. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I have lots of friends, but uh, not so many. Lots of. Ah, oh, I okay. Uh, I have of, lots of okay. okay. Lots of friends, uh, but some friends uh, can be a liar, uh -huh. uh, and so uh, I don't trust mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I have yes. uh, it is better to say uh, therefore, not and so. Therefore, or so that. Okay. Okay. It's better. So that. You can say therefore. Okay. You can also say hence. Which is very rarely used. I would, I would say therefore. Therefore, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Why friends are important to us? Why friends are important to us? Uh, we need some time to talk to somebody. Very good. We need to talk to or with someone or somebody. Very good. Mm -hmm. we Alone. Okay. Not the idea. Very good. A good idea. Not okay. You can say it is not okay, period. Or it is not a, a good idea, period. Okay? Very good. What else? Any other ideas? Okay. Because we think about Happy to uh, our friends. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, have, uh, we are happy at mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. we, we don't uh, want to be alone. Very good. You can say uh, it, when we want to make our friends happy. Mm -hmm. There is no two. Okay? When we make our friends yeah. happy. Blah, blah, blah. Very good. What else? If you will share uh, your happiness. With your friends, uh, happiness will be Retire. higher. Will be higher? You mean? Will increase. Increase. Okay. Yes. Okay. If you share uh, your sadness with your uh, friends, Friend. sadness uh, will decrease. Decrease. Yeah. Excellent. Very I nice see. point. Very nice point. Excellent. What else? Ideas? Why friends are... <clears throat> Important. Uh, friends are very important and it's very helpful. Mm. Uh, Sorry, you can say because you know you are talking about two different things. Mm -hmm. You have to use but. Mm -hmm. Okay, you cannot use and because they are different. For example, we say Istanbul is a uh, very beautiful but crowded city. Okay. One adjective is positive, the other one is negative. But if you use and, you can say Istanbul is, um, for example, big and beautiful, for example. <clears throat> if we consider big as a positive one. Okay. Friends are good. Yeah. It's very important in life. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, they are also dangerous. Very good. So we should be careful to choose friends. Very good. And... Uh, Friends are you uh, make you in stress, mm -hmm. stressful in problem in, 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 in tension. Excellent. Friends can put you. Uh, 
and put you, put you into stress, into tension, stress. into problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the friends can uh, build your life. Mm -hmm. And they can keep you uh, up. Up. Very good. Excellent. That nice. is my experience. In life. Perfect. Totally correct. Totally correct. Very good. What else? Any ideas about it? I need to socialize. Because oh. I am so it. Mm -hmm. uh, my friends are important, so important. So important to you. Yes. I mean, uh, to every me. time uh, I need to different ideas. Every time I need different ideas. Yes. We don't use two, okay? Excellent. What else? That's all. That's all? Some people are not actively speaking. Um, you have to. Uh, we should uh, be careful uh, choose friends. We should be careful in, in, in choosing ING, in choosing, in choosing friends, friends. Uh, because we should uh, trust them uh, and we can, uh, they can help me, uh, maybe for exam, maybe for work, mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. it is not. Exactly, def definitely. Any ideas? Can I say? Of course. You can say anything. Friends are for, friends for uh, sharing problems. Exactly. But how do you get the problems? How do you get the problems? The life will bring problems. No, if you have friends, you mm -hmm. will have the problems. Why? So maybe if you won't have a friend, you don't have any problems. So you mean that? Good, but not all the time good. It is not all the time correct. We are social or sociable people, humans. So we need friends to talk to, to share our ideas. Can talk to friends. To consult. Of course you can, but sometimes you cannot share some of your problems directly to your, I mean, with your parents. You need some best friends, you call them as kanka, right? Yeah. You need those kankas to share your ideas with. Kanka means? Means dude. Best friend. Yeah. Kanka is Turkish. Yeah. Turkish. Yeah. Kanka is Turkish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yes, kanka is Turkish. Uh, sorry, we can say yanki. Of course, why not? Yanki. You can say dude. Dude is exactly the meaning of kanka, dude. Okay? Or you can say pal. Normally pen pal. Pen pal, normally. What else? Mate. Very good. Mate. Very good. You can say uh, bro. Yes, bro. Sis. Very good. Or sis. You can say partner, right? Partner. So what is the opposite of that? Enemy, right? <laughs> Enemy. Enemy. Or this one, foe. Danger. No, danger is a different. Danger is in a relation with that word, okay? So enemy or foe? Foe means enemy again. Very good. Excellent. Uh, okay, I will ask a couple of questions all together. Listen carefully. Uh, how much time do you spend together with your friends? And how long? Have you known each other? And what do you usually do together? How much time do you spend with your friends? What do you do together? And for how long you both have known each other? We listen less. Sorry? We listen. We listen. We listen. Listen. Lessons together. We, we listen to each other. I understand. I understand. We let we, we listen to the lessons. Exactly. Uh, 
if okay. I if I have a time, uh, I will uh, I will we will be organized with my uh, uh, all best friends. Yeah. Uh, at the first opportunity. Very good. Uh, on on the first opportunity. On the first opportunity, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we have. We have, we have known each other mm -hmm. uh, for 10 years. For 10 years. Ten years yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if, uh, we, if we have uh, if we have met uh, mm -hmm. uh, if we hang out yes. with my uh, if I hang out with my friends mm -hmm. uh, we can do uh, everything we can mm -hmm. do is uh, go to cinema mm -hmm. uh, or play football exactly or okay. games yeah. chit chat very good another idiom for you today for ages it's not idiom means for a long time mm -hmm. understand instead yeah. of saying for example I know my friend I know my friend yes go ahead Hangover? Hangover? Hangover. No, no, no. Hangover, hangover. is different. Hangover. <laughs> hangover is different. You know, when you are drunk, hangover. too much, you know, alcohol, yes. you can fly. This is different. But hang, hang out. out. Catch up, you can say. Catch hang out. So can you see that? Hang out with somebody. Sorry for my handwriting. It's terrible. Yeah. Hang out with some somebody or someone, or catch up. Catch up with somebody. Normally, catch up with something, but of course you can catch say catch up, up with someone or somebody. Very good. So for ages, an idiom means for a long time. Idioms can decorate your sentences. And instead of saying, oh, I know my friend for 20 years, which is correct, no problem. You can say, I know my friends, or you can say, we know each other for ages. This idiom can decorate your sentences and you can become more native-like, more fluent in English, okay? Use idioms a lot for ages, for a long time. Very good. Who is next? The last one. We are going to have a break. Go ahead. I have a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, I daily I chat or, yes. or call. Sometimes we go out and mm -hmm. come to the room. Very good. And then we yes. come over. Come yes, over. this is very American. Come um. over. They come over my my home. I go to their home. Come over. Come over is a sort of um, how can I say it, indirect. Let's say not indirect. Um, unofficial invitation. You know, if, if, when you invite someone, it should be official, right? Yeah. But when you call your friend, come and join me. Let's play, for example, PlayStation. There is no need for official. Uh, invitation. In that case, your friend comes over your house, your home. Informal. Informal, exactly. Exactly. Understand? Very good. Who is next who wants to talk about it? We have a few seconds. No, we meet each other for ages. For ages? Excellent. Very good. What else? Uh, I met Liet. Uh, Liet. Close friends, my close friends. Very good. Uh, once a week. Once a week. Yes. About. Uh, okay, approximately or about once a week. And what sort of activities do you do with your friends? Uh, in general. No, wait, wait. Generally. In general. In general or generally. Yes. We cannot mix them together. <laughs> or my favorite is this. Where is it? Generally speaking, memorize it. Okay, memorize it. Generally speaking. This is fixed. This is very common. That's generally speaking, no, generally speaking. The same in general. Yeah. Yes, of course. This is much more practical. Generally speaking. Okay, generally speaking. Yes. Oh, I uh, sorry. We go uh, cinema mm -hmm. maybe uh, 
Gossip. Yeah, yeah. Gossip. Of course. Because you're the lady, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. What else? Any ideas? DNR. Yes. Very nice. Uh huh. What else? No ideas? No? Today you are very you know, mute. Thanks. We are because no one wants to share their friends and secrets. You don't have to share your secrets or personal issues. I told you before, I told you after, I remember, that when you are in a speaking club, when you are in a speaking examination, especially, for example, IELTS examination, I don't know, TOEFL examination, etc., etc., tell lies. Lies. Yes, be imaginative. You, you don't have to be real, realistic. You don't have to. Okay? If you are realistic, you are limiting your sentences. This is not a good strategy. Talk about everything that comes to your mind. <clears throat> we don't have time to go uh, to do a research whether this student is telling the truth or not. Okay? We want to see how fluent you are. If you use uh, limited sentences, you, are, you cannot sound fluent. If you use or make uh, a lot of sentences without any stop, means that this student is fluent. Understand? Step by step you can be better and better. Very good. That is enough for today. Uh, yeah, after 10 or 15 minutes we're going to have the vocabulary club. You can sign it please. You can sign this.